All right, everyone, so when you are ready to start putting the yarn on your clay weaving project, uh, we need to make sure we have enough. So let me grab quite a bit of this pink so you can see. I think my yarn is really tangled up here. Grab a bunch of this. Okay. And then with your needle, Ideally, you should be able to get it directly through the eye uh, if your yarn is not too thick. Now, I will tell you there is a little trick to getting that through if it's troublesome for you. You can cut a little strip of paper like this, fold it in half like this, and then place your yarn inside here such. Okay. Flip it over and then you can just directly put this into the needle and your needle is threaded. Okay. So <clears throat> to start on the project you're going to find the other end of your yarn and I'm using a student's project demonstrate because mine has fewer holes and so I want to make sure yours is correct. So we'll start by taping this on the back. It doesn't matter where, just make sure it doesn't hang off the edge so that you can't see it from the front. And then you're going to start, this, since this is the back, we always start sewing or weaving from the back. So it doesn't matter what hole you start in. We're going to go ahead and put it in one of the holes and we're going to pull this all the way up through hopefully not getting in a knot. Okay. So now you can see I have gone up through this hole. So now we're going to find a hole that's approximately diagonal. Now since you have an odd number of holes, you won't be exactly diagonal. So we'll choose either this one or this one. Okay, so let's go in here. We'll go down through. <coughs> You'll pull this in and you'll pull it sort of tight and as you flip over we're going to start going up this side so you can see that there are more holes over here than there are here so we're going to go this way so we're going to go back through back through and now we're going to make an X cross over the string that you put in the yarn rather okay so now we have the X if you look what's going on the back now we're going to keep going we're going to go back in through this one it over. We've come in at, we're coming out here, so we're going to make an X again, which means we're going across this way. Okay. And you guessed it, we're going to come back up through the back, right next to where we went in. Oh, I'm stuck to my foot. <laughs> okay. And again, we're going to go in next to this one because we're always making X's. Okay. And we're going to come up and out right next to the one that we went in. And we're going to come up over here. Okay. 
Okay, come up out here. Remember, you're always going in or down through the one right next to where you came out. one right in here. Should have one over here and two over here at this point. Okay, these are all pulled nice and tight. We'll go in this one. Which means the only thing that's left to do is to come up through, goodness, come up through this one. So now here we are, and I have just so much yarn to make this a little easier. I am going to take off some of my yarn if I don't end up with a giant knot here. All right, so I'm going to Come in and I'm going to cut off some extra. Now don't get rid of this because you will still use it. All right, so I still have quite a bit on here. Now I'm going to come over here and you can see that my, my center of my circle is not quite in the center. It needs to be up more in there. So I'm going to come almost directly across from where my string came out and I'm going to go in and I'm going to gather up that center of my circle and pull it where I need it so that it's actually in the center of my circle, okay? Once I have this in, now I can start going over and under. So when we weave, we go over, let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit better. Okay, so I'm coming up right here so I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under. And let's pull that. Make sure the center of our circle stays in the center or approximately in the center. Give it a little help to get it going. Okay. Now you can see I've come out underneath, which means my next one, I'm going to go over this one. Over, under, over, under, under, under. Pull it tight. So I'm coming out underneath this one, which means I go over, under, over, under. You see how I'm going over, under, over, under? You can't skip any or it won't come out right. So I'm finishing under, so I'm gonna go over, under, over, under. So if you end up doing this correctly, every single row that you go around, your, this, what we're doing right now, this is called the weft string, or the weft yarn. Your weft will be opposite each time, okay? And you see, I keep something pointy with me to help my weft string stay nice and tight, tightly woven. You can also use your needle to help pull it in there. Okay. Keep it nice and taut. You don't want to see through your weft strings. All right, I'm coming out under. Go over, under. Okay, so far so good. So I'll keep going another row or so because then I'd like to show you how to change colors. Okay. 
when I'm using my needle like this, this is called beading the weft, okay? Um, sometimes when you do larger weavings, you have an entire beater bar that you slide across. Okay, so that's good for right now. I'm going to put my yarn back through, make sure it comes out on the back side. I'm gonna flip over the project and you see how this is coming out the back. I'm now going to snip this off. Make sure you leave a little bit, and actually I probably should have left more. Now I'm going to take my next color, if I can find the center. So I'm going to take a little bit of navy blue since it is very different than the pink. That way you could see what I'm doing. So we're going to tie this together with the pink nice and tight. Do it one more time. Okay. Now I'm going to take my needle off the pink yarn and I'm going to put it onto the blue yarn. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to look very carefully. You can see that I came out um, underneath this warp string, which means I have to go over this warp string. So I'm going to continue weaving, and you'll see that I can weave from the front side of my weaving or the back. I prefer to weave from the front except for when I'm changing yarn colors because you need to see that these tied strings come out on the back side. Okay, so now we see that they're coming out the back side and I've got my weaving started. So now I'm going to turn this back over to the front. and I'm going to keep going. Making sure that my yarn is staying nice and tight. And again, if you've done this correctly, um, your weft string should be opposite every time because you have an odd number of circles and it will always come out correctly. Keep it nice and tight. have to be careful to make sure you avoid the strings that are popping out on the back side. You don't want to get those caught up in your weaving on the front side. So see how this is still coming out the back side? Just to be safe, you might want to trim it shorter so it stays out of your way. Make sure it's still tied nice and tight, okay? But you would keep going on this project until you get much closer to the edge. You'll alternate colors, keeping in mind that you should be weaving on top of a project that has already been painted with your design. It should be painted and you should already have put your clear finish on it, okay? If you have not painted it and put your clear finish on first, you need to wait to do the yarn because you can't really go back in afterwards and put the clear on after you started weaving, okay? And the colors you've chosen for your yarn, make sure that they match um, what you're doing around or what your painting is. Okay, if you have questions, you can message me and, in Canvas and I will get back to you.